Okay, I'm going to do a quick video of how I did the electric fans in my van. A lot of people have asked. Uh, you see this shroud here is the original shroud. It takes a lot of room in there. Real pain in the ass to work around it. First thing I did was tear it out. Uh, if you look right here, you'll see I cut a big chunk of it out. And the reason why is I used that for the top of the electric fan mounts. And I'll show you that in just a minute. In the meantime, this shroud goes in the junk pile. Okay, so this is what she looks like right now. It looks pretty normal, except that what you don't see is the shroud is gone from below. Uh, and I'm going to remove this real quick and show you. Okay, now here you can see how I cut the upper part of the shroud, and I used it to, as my retainer to hold the radiator in place. Uh, this part right here that I left sticking out still works to hold that air box. But I don't screw anything down anymore. I just let it float. For the wiring for the fans, each fan has two plug-ins. And uh, that's in case in the winter, if I want to just only run with one, if it's you know two or too much, I can just disconnect one. So I used uh, two relays to do this. And I wanted to keep it simple. This is my schematic. Uh, basically, I have a switched ignition that pulls in the coil on the first one. This comes straight from the battery and sends hot to the fans. The fans will always be hot if the ignition's on. Uh, it goes from there out to the thermostat. If the water temperature gets up, it drops to ground. Both these fans turn on. For the air conditioning, I needed it to run for the air conditioning as well, and I didn't want to mess with a, a trinary switch. So I come off uh, the air conditioning relay, power this coil on this relay, it drops it into ground. So if I turn on the air conditioning at all, uh, the fans start running. I use two different relays. Uh, this is the one I used for the air conditioning and this is the one I used, I don't know if you can see it, for the main. And the only reason I use this one is because I could put a fuse in the top. Right now I believe I have a 15 in it, but my fans I bought specifically for low, uh, low usage. Okay, so these are the two relays I just showed you inside. Uh, uh, getting power out of this fuse relay box here. I did a jumper off the ignition here with an additional fuse and it comes over and feeds this coil. When this coil pulls in, it's getting its main power right off of here and it switches and sends power to the fans. That happens the minute I turn on the van. Every time I turn on the van, the, vans, uh, the fans always have power at that point. Uh, the fans will not turn on unless the sensor down here says it's met its temperature and then that sensor sends it to ground. Uh, once it goes to ground those fans turn on. But I wanted to have, I have to have those fans run if the air conditioning turns on. So that's where this second relay came in play was for the air conditioning. Now this relay right here is the air conditioning activation relay. And if you look really close down in there you can see right there is a pin that pin there gets hot when it calls for the air conditioning compressor to run. Uh, so what I did is I pulled this relay, tucked a piece of wire down in there, and then just plugged it back in. That wire goes over to the coil of these relays. So now anytime the compressor turns on, this relay kicks in, goes to ground, and my electric fans turn on. Uh, really quite simple, and it works very, very well. Thanks for watching.